My name is Jeremy Monday, and I've worked in translation for some 20 years, um, but as a translator, uh, as a teacher, and as a researcher. Um, there are many definitions of translation, but um, at its most basic, it's the uh, written transfer of a text from one language to another. Um, but it's also uh, all about intercultural transfer um, and contact. And in more recent years, the concept of translation has broadened to consider all t different types of adaptation and version. Uh, translation studies is the discipline uh, which investigates uh, translation. Um, as far as translator, translator training goes, um, if you want to be a translator, what qualities do you need? Uh, there are quality skills and knowledge which are, are really crucial. Um, you need to know the source language, the language of the original, but also the, lang the culture of the original as well. How do others think in those languages? What are the nuances, the connotations behind the wordings of the original? Uh, what is the force of particular choice of, of words and expressions? Or what's left unsaid in the original? A translator needs a subject-specific knowledge as well. If you're translating a text about solar panels, you need to know the terminology in your language of solar panels and what to do if you don't know that uh, particular word, how to research it online in particular glossaries, databases, etc. You need to be brilliant in the language you're translating into, into the target language, which is normally your first language, but, but not always. Um, you need attention to detail attention to detail in, in the precision of your own writing, but also attention to the proofing, uh, the correction of little mistakes, the um, gauging of the, of the equivalence of the target uh, text compared to the source text. Is the quality there? Does this mean what the source text means? And is it possible that it can mean the same thing? Um, you need, I would uh, say, a knowledge of translation theory as well to know why you're doing what you're doing. And here, particular concepts come up again and again in translation studies. So the, uh, the audience, who are the audience? What do they know? What do they need to know in the text? Uh, what's the genre of the text? If you're translating a technical text, you may be translating it very differently compared to a literary text. What's the purpose of the text um, and of the translation? Is it for publication um, or is it just for information? Um, all of these things play uh, an important role in deciding of the kind of translation you're going to produce. And translation studies research. This is broadened out just as the definition of translation includes adaptation. So translation studies research includes um, uh, intralingual translation between two versions of the same language. It includes all different sorts of adaptation of film, um, etc. Uh, and is expanded um, the, the subject, the discipline of translation studies is expanded to incorporate increasingly sub-disciplines of interpreting studies, audiovisual translation studies, corpus-based translation studies. It's a growing area. Um, and moving from linguistics to literary studies to cultural studies, the sociology and history of translation over the years, translation flows, why translation um, so much is translated from English and so little relatively into English. The questions of power, identity, migration. The translator as an intervener, as, not as a, a transparent conduit of information, but as, a, as an interested party in the, in the communication process, sometimes biased. The new technologies have changed as well. Multimodality, computer-assisted translation tools, machine translation, graphic novels, social media. So the, the field is expanding ever more and uh, 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 research is, is ongoing in these different fields. All around specific questions. So what is translation? How can it be analysed? How do cultures interact? How do trans does a translator operate? And how does translation operate in different historical um, circumstances? For me, this is what makes translation one of the most exciting activities. And one of the most challenging interdisciplinary research areas.